right, once you've got your project done, in this particular case we were doing the crop and straighten project, you want to save your file. Um, to save your file, obviously we're already connected to the NAS, because you would have done that before to grab your images and work on your project. So once you're ready to save it, and this is going to do every day, file, save as, this window will pop up, and you're going to select the NAS, and you want to select, you know, AV1, or, or if you're an AV2, or in this case we're an AV1, and look for your number, okay? And then, if you're not done with your project, um, say we want to come back and work on this some more, um, you would save it, I would save it under Project 1, okay, Just or create a folder called Project 1, just save it and, under your number. And then make sure your format, if you're still working on a project, make sure your format is still Photoshop. Okay. Um, this is, by keeping it Photoshop, it's going to retain all of the information in your image. Um, so if you had multiple layers and things like that, what you will do later on um, in the next couple assignments, so we'll make sure that you want to save it first as a Photoshop document. And then we'll hit save. So now I've got a Photoshop document. So if I close it out, I can reopen it, and now I've made my change. Once I'm finished making my changes, you go File, Save As, and this time I'm ready to export this out to upload for the assignment. I am going to change this to, instead of Photoshop, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say JPEG, because that's what was requested. I'm going to say JPEG. Instead of Project 1, I'm going to jump back out to my back out to my name and choose exports and I might call this one instead of that I might call this one image one image one and click save and then click OK alright so now when it comes time to upload to Google Classroom you'll save three images to to uh, your folder so you can see exports I've got one image there. Exports image, there we go. You'll have three images, one, two, three. And then you'll upload all three of those images to Google Classroom.